Hey guys, before we begin today's devlog, we are happy to announce we just released a brand new free demo. You can find it on App Lab and Steam. I'll put the links in the description below. In today's devlog, I will go over some of our latest features. All of these will be available in the demo. Starting with the courtyard. You can see we have an amazing new courtyard environment. Everything here is connected to our physics system, like it is in our sandbox and open world environments. Vines can be climbed and the water uses our water system. See if you can explore this area and you might find some secrets. We have added a simple main menu and a controller menu. This will update depending on the controller you are using. Back to the main menu. It's pretty simple for now, but you can see we have calibration, load save file and a tutorial. We won't do the tute now, but we recommend you play it. All right, let's load into the sandbox. Throughout development, we have been hard at work optimizing the game so that it runs on both PC VR and Quest. Our open world mode still needs a bit of tuning for the Quest, but we're super excited that our sandbox now runs natively. The sandbox is fairly basic right now, but we are planning on expanding it in the future with new areas, tons of mini games and a horde mode. If you open the menu screen, we have a bunch of information here that is useful. There's a spells tab that will show what each spell's properties are and even has a little instruction guide on how to cast each spell. We have a quest log that will show information for our adventure mode and a settings menu that includes everything you would expect. One of the core features of our sandbox mode is our sandbox menu. Using this menu, you can summon items, objects, enemies, and mini games. We also list the new objects currently in development. What I can do here is summon some weapons, go over to the enemies tab and spawn however many I would like to face, and then see how I go against these enemies. This is just one scenario. There's any number of things that you can do you're only limited by your creativity. As I mentioned before, we have some mini games in the sandbox. We have an obstacle course mini game that will have a community leaderboard in the future. We'll be adding more mini games periodically and would love to hear feedback on game ideas you may have. We also have air magic that you can select by grabbing the crystal at the back of the sandbox. Air magic is currently in a prototype state right now, but we'd love to hear your feedback and ideas on different spells. We will also have more prototype magic in the next demo update, and who knows, maybe some earth magic may sneak in there. We are very excited that our beta version of the full game will be coming to PC VR on Steam at the end of September. We will have links to the Steam page that you can wishlist the game and download the current demo. Make sure to head over to our Discord to give us feedback on the demo and let us know all your crazy ideas for spells because we value your opinions and want to work with the community to make Magitech the best possible game. That's all for this one. Thanks for tuning in.